The human body was designed to heal itself and it will heal itself if you give it the right conditions. This week I have been showing you these conditions. The human body will deteriorate, but this week I've been showing you how you can slow that down. But the human brain need never deteriorate. This is shocking news for most people. And it should be shocking news because in society today, we've got 1,700 new cases of Alzheimer's being diagnosed every week. That's quite alarming, isn't it? And I don't know anyone that wants to go there. In a book written only a few years ago called Stop Alzheimer's Now, Dr. Bruce Fife in his book, he shows very clearly that Alzheimer's is preventable and even at some stages, even treatable. If it is not able to get a turnaround, definitely there can be a cessation of the decline in the, in the symptoms. So what I'd like to do today is I'd like to take you into this amazing brain that we all own, the most amazing computer on the planet. Notice with the skeletal system, it is an internal structure causing man to stand upright. But when it comes to the head, it becomes an external structure. It now plays a protective role. And in this external structure, into the most delicate and yet most important organ of the body, there are seven ac areas of access. There are two ears, two eyes, two nostrils and a mouth. Everything we hear or have ever heard is monitored in our brain. Everything we see and have ever seen is monitored in our brain. Everything we smell gives a message to our brain and everything that goes into the mouth, whether it be food or drink or other, has an effect on the brain. Let's begin by looking at the brain. This is the brain from side on, looks a bit like a slug. And this is the brain looking from the top down. Notice that there are two lobes in the front of the brain. And those two lobes are referred to as if they were one because they have the same function. It's called the frontal lobe. It is in the frontal lobe where our intellect is. It is in the frontal lobe where our reasoning powers reside. It is in the frontal lobe part of the brain where judgment takes place. And it is in the frontal lobe part of the brain where what I call the most wonderful gift that God has given to mankind, it is the will. The will is the governing power in the nature of man. It is the power of decision or of choice. And when you think about it, our our life choices determine our destiny. Everything in life happens really because of the will, because of the decisions that we make.